Hey everyone, welcome back to the RP Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph, and this is What Never Was by Ake Halgren, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's another story driven game. It's another free game on Steam. Yes, I know, I'm cheap. You can let me know in the comments all about that. In this game, we are going to play Sarah, and Sarah has a task to clean out her grandfather's attic. And while doing that, she's going to discover that not everything is as it seems. So let's check it out. Hey mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to grandpa to... Yeah, I know, it's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever, it's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah, bye. Dead mom talks fast. Bam. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, I had a little bit of an issue with the uh, controls there for some reason. Let's check it out. We are on the attic and there is uh, a lot of stuff here. Oh. Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. Oh, Grandma's cello. So this is where it ended up. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. <laughs> right. Ah. <sighs> It's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Nah, I don't feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. What? Those are the most important books. A desk drawer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. It's locked. Oh, that's a pity. The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. Celtic myths and legends. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Ooh. Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Lee. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. All right, we have some more drawers. Drawer. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. All of them are locked. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. Pele, goddess of fire. Why was Grandpa researching Hawaiian myths? He sure could draw, though. I mean, look at that goddess dragon thing. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying things. No shit. We have a we have a real Sherlock Holmes here. Uh, how do you look? There is supposed to be a way that you can zoom. Oh, there we go. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. All right, so we are looking at missing it's pages. On one of his expeditions, he sure was adventurous. I wonder where this is, and what Grandpa was doing there. It's Grandpa on one of his. I'm only here to pick up my stuff, but maybe I'll grab this later. Ah, it's a picture of us, Grandpa. You sweet old bastard. Oh, that's me. Aww. I'm only here to pick up my stuff. Well, maybe I'll grab this later. This must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. Oh, look at that. 
What a cute couple they were. Fairies by Brian Froud and Alan Ling. It's a banker's lamp. Okay. A desk drawer. <laughs> hey, this is open at least. Something inside? No. Celtic myths and legends. Well, we have a shit ton of books. That's for sure. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George Lucas? Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna have the same text for all these books. What is this? Maps. Lots of maps. Hmm. I'm sure some of these are worth keeping, but I'm not going to sit down and sort through them right now. Grandma Why not? loved reading maps and making maps. I wonder how many of these he charted or drew himself. I loved when we drew maps of places we made up together. We draw our own cities, fantasy villages and the like. All oh, names cool. something along the lines of Saraville, of course. But <laughs> hey, what do you expect from an eight year old girl? <laughs> maps. Lots of maps. Hey, that sounds like a place I want to visit. Ah, the old gramophone. Saraville, where mysteries unfold. Ooh. Yeah, let's uh yeah. enough of that. <laughs> I was I was just gonna say the same thing. <sighs> it's going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. Okay, I think this is one of the pages. It looks like a torn out page. Yes. You picked up a journal page. Okay. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pele and Pariyakaka would happen to be in the mountains. The trek has gone well, and although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable, not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge and his company. Not unexpectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbol of water. Again, these symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the others seem strange and of no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? Well, that's a good question. I seem to also have a necklace. A necklace I got from Grandpa when I would turn 10. He joked that it was magical and that it would keep me safe from monsters and such under my bed. And I believed him for the longest time. For it since. And now that he's gone, I don't think I'll ever stop wearing it. All right, I have a student ID card. Still not quite sure if studying botanics and biology is right for me. God knows mom doesn't think so. But I like nature and I like the idea of maybe one day fixing the planet, winning the Nobel Prize or something, or setting up a flower shop, you know, whichever. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta have goals in life. Uh, also not the best picture, but yeah, that's me. A Madsen flip phone. It's a year old, but still works pretty great. Not in a hurry to upgrade, even though the new smartphones look pretty nifty. Well, maybe I would if I could afford one. Right. Okay, so we found one page. That is a start. More maps, more books. A chair. Shu, Egypt. And a symbol of a swirl? <laughs> what a globe. Huh. 
Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. What are these strange markings and symbols? Yeah, I was wondering... Not a globe. Huh. Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Is that supposed to be wind? I'm guessing it's wind. Okay, so... Few Sang China. Few Sang China. And a symbol of a tree. Right, so I'm guessing we have another symbol here. Hey, this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Okay, we can uh, push... Shoot. Huh? Why shoot? What happened? Paria... Pariacaca, South America. And that looks like a drop of water. Okay. That doesn't seem to be it. Well, I'm guessing these are the elements that I'm gonna find on the pages. Now let's see if I can find the rest of the pages. It's an old table lamp. Well, there is a key. It's a small, simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. Yeah, maybe it does. Let's grab it. What else do we have? A bike here. Okay. An old bicycle. Hiking by train. I'm leaving by train. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like one of the diary pages. Okay, let's uh, check that one out as well. Journal page one. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Mauna Loa. Not much of a climber, but I'm filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at the times at times of what he was doing. Regardless, I'm here and I will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala. Whatever secrets Pele got as a fire holds, it's now within my grasp. I've definitely reached the right place, although I'm weary from travel. Too excited to sleep. Villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I've also noticed the alchemic symbols of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but it is linked to the crest I've sought at well, as well. Is it linked? It's a good question. I'm sure we're gonna figure it out some way. The more Hero books. with a Thousand Faces yeah, more by books. Joseph Campbell. A typewriter. <laughs> there are so many books here. What's up with this guy? Maps, books. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... Grandpa loved this thing. Told me it was one of a kind. Although, he never actually told me why. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Oh, that's a pity. Come to think of it, I don't even know where he got it from. On one of his travels, I guess. I can't believe Mom wants to sell this. I get that he missed a lot of her childhood, but come on. Yeah, I would I'd love- I'd take it if I could. But where in my 18 square meter student apartment would I fit this thing? I would love one of these. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... It's a landscape painting of Whittington. I am not taking this with me right now. It's a landscape painting of Whittington. Oh, that as well? Okay. Here is the boxes that I'm supposed to grab. A tape recorder. Play me, it says. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter Sarah Elizabeth Wright. That's me. So if anyone else is listening they can sort off immediately please. <laughs> 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 oh grandpa. Sarah if you are listening to this then it means 
Well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Well now, I uh, only thing I have to do is look. Uh, let me look at the cassette tape then. Okay, so that is just the... Uh, That is fine. This is my stuff. My old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. I must have played through the Adventures of Merida every single summer I was here. I wonder if it still works. Oh man. Damn. The adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Yeah, and then you start recording, and then you start a YouTube channel, and then there goes your social life. Damn, the adapter's missing. Probably for the best. Hey, Mr. Piggles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up, Mr. Piggles? How have you been holding up? <laughs> Pretty good, Miss Sarah. Hey, Mr. Piggles. <laughs> that makes a sound. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Here's my stuff. Okay. These are the things I kept in Grandma and Grandpa's house for whenever I'd spend some weeks of the summer here. Man, it's gonna feel weird clearing all this stuff out. I'm not grabbing my stuff until I've made sure I have everything I need in here. Alright, so let's uh, see if we can use the key on... On the desk. Oh, we can. Look at that. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on it. Oh, great. It's locked. What could the combination be? Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here. Huh. Guess I'll have to work it out. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old. And has a combination lock on it. Well, now. Let's see if it uh, spells my name. be damn I was sure that would be it maybe I need something else to solve this yeah it was it was a good attempt right uh, okay so that opens it at least there is some more drawers here there is another page. page hmm what's this Uh, 
an open desk drawer. An open desk drawer. And this doesn't do anything, these uh, items. No. Okay. Uh, so, what do we have? We have journal photograph. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hassan Mosque, Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. And then journal page four. All I've worked for is here. I know it. The necklace in the Temple of China made it made all the difference. And now I'm finally in Africa. Hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale. But I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what is behind these strange connections and events. Right. So, let's see. This is Hawaii. This is uh, Pariakaka. And this is Africa. So, what did we have? To Egypt and a symbol of a swirl? <laughs> Fu Sang, China. And a symbol of a tree. Pele, Hawaii. And a fire symbol. All right, and we have Paria Pariakaka, South America, and that looks like a drop of water. Uh, okay. So we have. Let's quickly take a look again. Hawaii, Pariaka, and then China, and then Africa. So. Hawaii. Oh, that's not it. Ah, shoot. Pariaka. Fu Sang, China. And a symbol of a tree. What did the message say again? Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Hmm. I thought it was going to be in a specific order. Is that supposed to be wind? I'm guessing it's wind. Fu Sang, China. And a symbol of a tree. Yeah, Sarah is correct at least. Howard could be uh, an option too. Howard James. Let's check out if Howard or James is possible. Okay, Grandpa. I need a clue to unlock this box. So if you're here... Huh. Guess I'll have to work it out myself then. It's not gonna be Howard or James, at least. Huh. This tin box looks fairly old and has a combination lock on. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. Oh, here we go. This seems to belong to the diary. There is our last page. 
Elfsten, also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore, normal rocks with holes in them, the size of an acorn, were considered lucky, otherworldly and useful, hung from the necks of livestock it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls and even incubi. In some tales, the owner of a true elfstone is able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be uh, the one I was looking for, carved in a way that no average jeweler could and with or in place of where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one came to harm and I'm sure the disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this though. I must study it thoroughly. Okay, so we still are missing one page. It's not in there. Where else could this page be? There's a whole bunch of pages lying around. Is it this one? Nope. These books are all so old. Hey, wait. Is that the biography of George? The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. going to take forever to sort through all these. Grandpa sure did like his books. There are four hands, and none of them are moving. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. Hmm. That old man never could fix anything properly. There are four hands, and none of them are moving. That old man never could fix anything. Grandpa loved this thing. There is no way I can pick this up. Right. Something in here, maybe? Nope. Well now, interesting. So we have water. That's also water. What is this symbol then? Is this fire? Sultan Hassan. Hmm. 
Elfston is also not something that I can use. Looking for a five letter word, pretty much. Egypt and a symbol of it. Is that supposed to be wind? I'm guessing that doesn't seem to be it. No, that's not it. What did the message from the tallest tree to the deepest river? Few sang China and a symbol of a tree. So that moved in. That's not it. Ah, shoot. That doesn't seem to be it. Okay, so this one moves in. In every breath of wind and every dancing flame. Could he be referring to these symbols? Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? Yeah, probably. What did the message say again? The world is full of secrets? Yes. From the tallest tree to the deepest river. So the tree? Hey, this is that goddess thing mentioned in Grandpa's diary. Paria... Pariyakaka, South America. And that okay. looks like a drop of water. In every breath of wind, and every dancing flame. Could he be referring to these symbols? I think... <laughs> I did it! I think that's it, indeed. This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Ooh, and that will give us the uh, Elston stone, I think. This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace? Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Whoa! It's magic! I, um... I have a necklace now. Uh, let's see. So, update, I guess. When I managed to open Grandpa's globe... I found another piece of the necklace, and when I look through... Uh, look through it, stuff glow, and I see things that aren't there. What the hell is going on? Am I going crazy? Press V to look through the necklace. Whoa. Serious whoa. Oh. Oh, look at that. There are some symbols on the clock, it looked like. Um, yeah. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. There are four hands, and none of them are moving. That old man never could fix anything properly. Hmm. The key I have doesn't fit here. So, would I have... I, I'm guessing I need to open this and then put the handles where these symbols are that would be my guess uh, however i've been playing for half an hour so that means that i'm going to end the episode right here and i'm going to continue in a second episode if you're enjoying what never was then by all means, hit that like button, let me know in the comments what you think of this game. And if you want to follow along, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.